Hey y'all, it's Kelly from Dixie Darlings Tumblers. So we're starting today with one of my favorite styles, the 32 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia. And these plumps are so great because they have no taper, so I love using them to vinyl wrap. And I've got this great vinyl pattern that I found that the Vinyl Cottage has it on their website listed under Girly Cheetah 2. So that's how you can find it. And it was just a fun pattern that had a good mix of animal print and pink and the little hearts, and I thought it was super cute. So I'm just trying to get it lined up on the cup here where the, I'm gonna add some glitter, but I want it to flow a little bit. So I'm just kind of seeing if I can get it lined up where the pink will go into the pink. And I'm gonna do some outlining and some borders in the gold. So I know that I can cover up, you know, a little bit, but I at least wanna get it lined up as good as possible. So that's kind of what I'm doing right here. And I did take this cup and I sanded it with my 60 grit sanding block. And then I spray painted it Rust-Oleum uh, 2X matte white. I wasn't sure if I was gonna use the full vinyl or if I was gonna kinda do a half. It was gonna kinda depend on how the swirl lined up. So I just went ahead and spray painted the cup. But it lines up pretty well here. So I'm just checking here. I was gonna pull off my backing and then I thought, you know what, there's gonna be a, too much overlap really. So I'm gonna go back in and trim off a little bit where the overlap will be. The overlap will be a little bit, but it won't be too much. So you can kind of see, I'm just going to lay it here and I'm kind of looking where my overlap is going to be. And then I'm just going to take my craft knife and just trim off this kind of bottom corner here where there's just going to be too much. And I thought, well, maybe I can salvage a little bit of vinyl here. And so I'm just going to take my craft knife and I'm just running it right down along that edge. So I'm going to take off the underneath section, if that makes sense. So I know that the top part here is going to overlap and flow into the rest of the vinyl nicely. So I'm just making a little edge here and you can kind of, this vinyl is pretty flexible where you could stretch it a little bit. So I'm going to cut it pretty much right along the line and then I'm just going to trim that excess off. So when I lay it around the cup, it'll lay flush against each other instead of having, you know, like a weird seam at this diagonal. And then I'm just going to double check myself here just to make sure they're going to line up pretty well. I always like to double check and triple check myself. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the backing off here to press that first little bit of the vinyl down on the cup just to make sure that I don't make a big mess and it's going to, that's going to line up on the cup like I want it to. So you can see I'm just taking my scissors and I'm just going to trim off this one little edge here first so I can apply my vinyl to the cup and then quadruple check myself again to make sure it's gonna line up like I want it to. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and press that one edge down here. And then once I've checked myself, just to make sure that it is gonna line up correctly, I'm just gonna go ahead and work my way around the cup here pressing firmly down as I'm going around the cup. You can see I kind of hold pressure on one end and then I just take my other hand and run my thumb down through there to kind of smooth out any air bubbles as I'm working away around the cup. And how you normally see me lay the tape down, I'm not on this. I'm just gonna go ahead and let the rest of the vinyl that was on there wrap around. And then if there's any little areas that just don't look straight or kind of don't seem to blend in, I'm just kind of trimming that back just a little bit here. That's really all I'm doing. And then I'm just gonna work my way around the top of the cup. I'm gonna pull the extra vinyl really tight against the top here to make sure that that's firmly adhered to the top of the cup. And then I'm gonna just trim off the excess with my craft knife as soon as I make sure there's no bubbles and it's firmly adhered to the top of the cup. And then I just kinda work my way around here. I kinda go at an angle with my craft knife uh, just to make sure that I'm trimming off a little bit below. I'm going to go back and sand so there'll be a rim around the top anyway. So you don't have to, you know, you, it doesn't have to be perfect here, but I do just try to cut it as close as I can to the top. And then I do angle my blade down towards the bottom of the cup a little bit. And then anywhere that I see air bubbles, I'll usually just go ahead and take my craft knife and just kind of pop those and press them out with my finger. And then y'all, I did kind of get out of the camera view here. So I'm just gonna pull it down like I always do my vinyl wraps and around the bottom and then trim off that little ridge right around the bottom. So I apologize that I kind of got out of the camera lens there to do that. 
So y'all, I've kind of been working on this cut for a while off and on just as I got a vision for it. So I did apply a coat of epoxy and I just used Counterculture's uh, medium viscosity here and I just did a really thin coat and I let that coat dry and then I did go in and added some Regina George here. So you can see the hot pink I took Peachy Olive Glitter's Regina George and I just used some Mod Podge with hot pink paint in it and painted that. And I don't know why that's not recorded. I apologize. Um, I think it's sometimes I think it does and it's actually I'm turning it off when I'm turning it on. So I'm sorry, but that's how that went. And then I'm adding the gold. So when you looked at the vinyl, there were like little places of little strips that looked like gold glitter. And I thought I want to go in there and actually add gold glitter. So I'm using Peachy Olive Glitter's Athena. So you can take them, see I'm just taking a small paintbrush and I'm just touching all those little areas that were glitter faux glitter on the vinyl for more or less and then I added a little bit of gold acrylic paint to my um, PG Olive Glitters Clear Adhesive. So that's what I'm using instead of Mod Podge. I'm using PG Olive Glitters Clear Adhesive and I've just added a little bit of gold um, acrylic paint here. And so I'm just barely touching it on there and I do have to do a couple of layers of this. I think it probably took me two on this. I didn't want a lot of it on there but I just wanted that to not be faux glitter. I wanted it to be real glitter. And then I really don't do too much at a time because that clear adhesive sealer will dry and then your glitter won't stick to it. So I just kind of work my way around. I just do little strips at a time and then tap off the excess. And then after any that that doesn't want to come off when you're tapping this off, you can, I just take a paintbrush, like a dry bristle paintbrush afterwards and then just wipe it off and it just comes right off. And then after I've gotten my gold glitter applied, I am gonna go in and I'm gonna spray a coat of Mod Podge's Clear Adhesive Sealer. And then I let that dry for about 30 minutes. And now I'm gonna go into my first layer of epoxy after I've added my gold glitter. So I've got about 30 milliliters of Counterculture's Medium Viscosity mixed up here. And I'm just adding a little bit of Peachy Olive Glitter's Bright. So you can see, I really am not gonna add that much. I just am gonna kinda go in and touch here first. I wanna make sure that none of my gold glitter is gonna move. And so I'm kinda going into the vinyl areas first before I really go heavy to go up and down um, just to make sure that that vinyl glitter is not going to move very much so I, and I didn't add very much bright I just wanted a little bit to give a little bit of sparkle to the cheetah print because I am going to go back in here and I'm going to glitter the pink areas also so I wasn't sure I was going to do that and then once I got this layer of epoxy on I was like you know what now I think I want to glitter the other areas so you by all means can do them all at the same time you could do the light pink the dark pink and the the gold and the hot pink all at the same time I just uh, sometimes I don't ever know how much I want to do so I'll start with less and then as I get the cup on the turner then I think hmm, I don't want to go back in and do a little bit more so sometimes it just takes me a couple of layers but you by all means can glitter all those areas at the same time before you ever add your first coat of epoxy and then after I've got this coat applied, I am gonna go in and let that dry for about eight hours. And then I'm gonna go in and glitter those. It's actually a light pink and a dark pink is what it looks like on the vinyl, but I do decide to go in with First Love and Silk from Peachy Olive Glitter. So you can see I've done the first coat here and I, again, y'all, I've kind of worked on this as I kind of had a vision for it as I would get a chance. And I had run out of Peachy Olive Glitter's clear adhesive and I tried another sealer here, I mean, another adhesive here and I didn't like it. And you can see I didn't get very good coverage. So I am having to go back in with the second coat. Obviously my first coat I did just like this one. And I'm just going back in with my little angled paintbrush and I'm gonna do a little bit at a time. And on the darker pink, I'm using the Peachy Olive Glitter's First Love. And then over the white or the lighter pink areas, I'm gonna use Silk. So it actually picks up a little bit of the pink background. I just wanted a little bit more of the contrast. So I decided to go with Silk instead. And it had this great little holographic uh, shine to it. So I thought it would kind of uh, just pull a little bit different color. And then after I've got all the pink done, I am gonna go into this other lighter color here and do the exact same thing. And here I'm using Peachy Olive Glitter's Silk. It's so pretty. And I knew it would pick up a little bit of the pink underneath. 
And then I'm just gonna keep working my way around the cup until I've got all those areas filled too. I'm using my scissors to tap off any excess. And then I'm gonna let this dry. Um, I let it dry about an hour and then I go in and brush off any of the extra that are in the other areas. And then again, I'm using the Mod Podge Clear Acrylic Sealer and I do two coats before I'm gonna go into my next layer of epoxy. I let that Mod Podge sealer dry for about 30 minutes. And then I'm going into a layer of epoxy here and it is countercultures medium viscosity. I've mixed up about 25 milliliters. I don't do any of the additive in it now. I'm just gonna go in with that layer and then I'm gonna let that coat dry for about eight hours. And then here I'm taking this little top notch. It's just a gold, um, it's just a gold paint marker that I think I got at Walmart. Um, it's an extra fine tip and I'm just going to go in and I'm kind of just going to run it like you would almost like on a geode cup where I just kind of I'm not going to make a straight line I'm just going to do in like a little staggered border and I'm basically going to start on the outside of the pink I wasn't really sure how much or little I was going to do so I kind of started going along in between the pink and the gold and then I'm just gonna work my way around the cup on this. Uh, and, and the thing is, after you have the epoxy on there, if you use this marker and you don't like the way it looks, you can just go with a little rubbing alcohol and you can just wipe it right off. So I do like that because it will just wipe off because there were several times here where I thought, oh, well maybe I wanna outline this little area or that little area. And then I kinda thought, ah, oh, that's just too much. So I just would go back in with my rubbing alcohol and wipe that off. So here it's really your discretion. I didn't want to use vinyl here to create kind of an outline or a border. So I thought, let me just take these, uh, this little gold uh, paint marker here and then just kinda outline it with that. And to me, this is the area that you can be as creative as you want to be here. So you could have outlined all of it or, you know, you could do as little or as much as you want to here. I just kind of start going and then what, however it gets to where I think it like I'm happy with it. And but everybody can de definitely use their own discretion here. Um, that's the fun part about this to me. And then once I've done pretty much all the lines, I do just kind of step back from it. And then any little areas that need to be touched up or any little areas that I think, hmm, let me add a little bit more here. I'm just gonna go back around and do that. And then it really dries pretty quick. Like I try not to touch any of the areas that I've just done, but it does dry pretty quickly. But I let it sit for about 30 minutes before I'm gonna go in and apply my decal. And while I was letting it dry, I did print off this decal from Bear Trends Digi Designs. It was Wild Heart Gypsy Soul. I just thought that this was kind of a fun little design that would go on this. And then I decided to kind of offset it. So instead of actually doing a true offset, I'm just gonna overlay one on the other. So I printed it off in this great fluorescent neon pink vinyl that I've been just dying to use from the Vinyl Cottage. She got this Oracle fluorescent colors in and I was dying to use them. So I thought, well, let me be the, the let me let that be the base. And then I'm gonna do a holographic gold on top of it so both of those will be linked in the description box below they are available on the vinyl cottage website it's the fluorescent neon pink and then it's the holographic spectrum gold so it has a little bit of holographic to it it's not just a straight gold so i'm just going to layer these on top of each other i kind of do one of them at a time because i did decide that i didn't think they were going to fit just right in the areas that i wanted them i kind of wanted to off kind of sit them off one or the other. So I am gonna add the top portion and then I'm gonna go back in and add the bottom portion of the uh, decal, if that makes sense. So I add the wild heart first, then the gypsy soul, because I'm just gonna kind of, uh, I hate using the word offset again, but I'm kind of gonna sit it to the side <laughs> underneath it so it'll fit, uh, so it'll look like it kind of flows with the cup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and center here the Wild Heart and apply that to my cup here. 
and then I'll go back in with the gypsy sole and just kind of sit it off just to the right a little bit of the other one so it'll just kind of blend in with the flow of the cup and I'll have enough room. I wasn't sure I was going to have enough room with the decal and I wanted the words to be big enough where you could read them so you can kind of see instead of right up under it I kind of just sit it off to the side a little bit underneath it. And then after I get my transfer tape off, I am going to cut a black circle, just add a black vinyl that I'm going to cover the bottom. And I just measure the diameter of the bottom and it works out to be 2.7, I think is what I cut it at. And I just went into my design space, I added a shape, the circle, and measured it out to be 2.7 inches. And then just applied that to the bottom of my cup. And then I'm going to go right into my next layer of epoxy and I do apply about 25 milliliters here it's almost probably 30 here of countercultures medium viscosity and i'm just going to apply that to the cup uh, the vinyl was stuck pretty well on here so i didn't feel that i needed to use quick coat um, just because a lot of times if i use that holographic vinyl i will i will use a layer of quick coat first to make sure the vinyl doesn't peel up but i felt like this was pretty pretty well stuck to the cup so i did not use it on this cup so I'm just going to go ahead and apply this layer of epoxy. I let this coat dry for about four hours, and then I'm going to go into my final layer of epoxy here. Um, I'm going to use another about 25 milliliters of Countercultures Medium Viscosity, and I will use my torch to pop any bubbles, and then I let that coat dry, and then we've got our final design. And then after we've got this final coat and let it dry, then we've got our final design. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the tutorial. It's just a few little techniques that are different ways to do things layering over vinyl. Y'all know I love to do some stuff over vinyl. So uh, I love the, the acrylic marker, just adding the little gold touches to it and just having some fun with glitter. So don't be afraid to try. Make sure you join my Facebook group, Dixie Darlings Tumblers, and share your creations with me. I love to see what you guys come up with, especially something like this. I love seeing when you guys come up with stuff, so please share it with us. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun, crazy stuff so you don't miss my future tutorials. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all again soon.